Hello all, welcome to the video sessions on quadcopter or drones. So in this tutorial you are going to know how to build a quadcopter from scratch. So first what is a quadcopter? Quadcopter is a type of a multi-rotor or which is very similar to the helicopter. So coming to the quadcopter we are having some four rotors which are going to give a sufficient thrust in downwards so that the entire vehicle will move over the air. So coming to the types of multi rotors there are some few types. So if the multi rotor is having four propellers or four rotors then it is a quadcopter. So in quadcopters we are having some three different configurations one is plus and one is x and another one is h so hex and another one is h configuration so depending upon the application we have to select the particular configurations not only a quadcopter here you can see a multi rotor which is having three rotors so it is called tricopter similarly hexacopter and octocopter so if you want to lift heavier weights then you have to select hexacopter or octocopter for aerial photography you can choose quadcopter so every multi rotor will have a rotating things so for example if you take a quadcopter here you can see it is having four rotors so out of four two are rotating in clockwise and two are rotating in anti clockwise direction so these clockwise and anti clockwise direction will make the rotor stable in the air. So now we will see what is the basic mechanism involved in the multi rotor to fly in the air. So to understand that scenario first we will consider how helicopter will work. So if you take an helicopter it will have a fixed propeller which is of big size so whenever that propeller rotates at high speed a downward thrust will be generated due to this downward thrust the helicopter will move upwards so here the pitch of the blades can be vary so that the helicopter can move forward backward and right left so but coming to multi rotors here we are having some three or four rotating parts where the pitch of the blades is fixed. The thing is we have to vary the speed of two motors so that it will move in forward. If you vary the speed of another two motors it will move backward like that. We will vary the speeds of the motors. So for every flying object the main and important mechanisms are yeah, pitch and roll. So just consider one thing. So here we are having an aircraft. So for taking off this aircraft, it should require elevator. The elevator mechanism can be produced by the pitch pitch in sense helicopter can aircraft can move back and forward similarly yeah i is used for making rotations so here this air mechanism can help the aircraft to move round in the air similarly roll for making turnings in the air this roll is used for the aircraft. So here you can see so that you can understand the three principles air pitch and roll. Yeah in sense rotating. Similarly roll means to make right or left turns for the aircrafts coming to pitch 
it is used to take off and land here these three mechanisms are applied to the human head so what are the things you need to build a quadcopter so we need some components to build a quadcopter the first one is frame frame is the body where entire electronics and all the things are housing in it and motors for quadcopter we require four motors we will see how this which type of motors we have to use and how the motors will work and electronic speed controllers flight controller board which is heart of the quadcopter so by using this flight controller board the quadcopter is going to be stable in the air to control the quadcopter we require a transmitter and a receiver receiver is attached to the vehicle and by using the transmitter we are going to control that thing and propellers by using this propellers the drone or quadcopter is going to make a downward thrust and finally it is going to move into the air and to power up this entire thing we require a battery so we will see one by one so first we will see motors so coming to the motors a motor is a device which is going to generate an electrical signal to mechanical energy so in the quadcopters we have to use a brushless dc motors coming to types of motors there are many types one is ac and dc ac in sense the motors which can work with alternating current and dc motors are which can be work with the battery so coming to types of motors we are having two types one is ac and dc ac motor means which can work with ac power supply coming to dc which can be work with the help of battery or direct current so coming to dc there are many types normal dc gear motor which is going to give a more torque the brushless dc motors and also servo motors so in the quadcopters or flying objects we have to use brushless dc motors because by using this bldc motors we will get higher rpm so that thrust will be generated more so first we will see how this bldc motor will work coming to bldc motor it will not have any brushes so there are two important things present in the bldc motor one is stator and another one is rotor rotor is nothing but the rotating rotating part and stator is a fixed one so whenever we supply power to the stator it is going to be act as electromagnet and finally it will help the rotor to rotate so here there is no contact between stator and rotor and also there are no brushes to control the speed of this motor we are going to use a speed controllers which we will see later so here you can see some of the applications of the bldc motors so mostly bldc motors are used where higher rpm is required so if you open your cpu there will be a cooling fan where it is made with the bldc motor similarly in hard disks dvd players we can find the bldc motors so coming to the advantages and disadvantages of bldc motors it will have higher efficiency and low maintenance and low power consumption due to there is no contact between stator and rotor physically so due to this 
sparks are eliminated coming to disadvantages the cost of the bldc motor is high and also to run this bldc motor we should require extra circuitry now you will see some other applications where bldc motors are used so if you observe in the hard disk the disk is going to rotate with some higher rpm for that purpose they are going to use bldc motors similarly washing machines and electric bikes and all those things contain bldc motors so what are the things present in the bldc motor one is a coil and another one is a permanent magnet so whenever we supply power to the coil it is going to be act as magnet and finally the particular magnet is going to attract towards the coil and finally some torque is generated so here we will consider one small scenario here i have applied some voltage so assume that here battery is connected after connecting the battery the coil will act as electromagnet with some south pole so this north and south try to attract with each other and finally some mechanical force is generated similarly for other cases so we have already know the stator is the fixed stator is the fixed part of the bldc motor and rotor is the rotating part which contains permanent magnets so coming to types of bldc motors we are having some two types one is in runner and another one is out runner in runner and out runner so in in runner dc mo bldc motors the coil is going to be rotating coming to out runner the permanent magnet set is going to be rotate means rotor outer part is going to rotate in the out runner motor and the inner coil is going to be rotate in the in runner so according to our applications or our requirement we have to select particular motor so mostly in runner motors are used in rc cars coming to out runner they are used in multi rotors so coming to some other types some other cat categories of bldc motors we can see single phase dl bldc motor where only one coil is, will be present coming to two phase and three phase the coil size is going to be increase so later we will see how to connect this bldc motors and how to vary the speed of bldc motor now we will see one more important thing that is electronic speed controller so to control the speed of the motor we should require some circuit that circuit is nothing but electron electronic speed controller or esc so by using this esc we are going to control the speed of the motor so this is how an esc looks so it will have input side and output side the output of the esc is connected with the bldc motor here in the drones we are using three phase bldc motor so we are having some three wires so these three wires are connected to the input of the motor and coming to the power supply we have to give a battery or some other dc source coming to one more connector it is called bec battery eliminate circuit 
by using this BEC we are going to give power supply for the controller so this thing is connected to the flight controller so coming to the operating voltage of flight controller it requires 5 volts so that particular 5 volts can be taken from this BEC so here in this Y in this cable you can see three colors white one is white red and black so here red and black is VCC and ground for the flight controller and coming to white one it is a signal wire so the input of the ESC is taken from this white wire where flight controller is going to some going to generate some signal that particular signal is taken by the ESC and finally it is going to control the motors so for every ESC we can see three wires which will go to the motors and two are for power supply for the ESC and motors and this particular cable is used to power up the controller so to power up the controller we can use alternate power supply also means without this BEC we can simply use a power module and coming to flight controller board which is heart of the quadcopter so flight controller board contains a microcontroller in which a program is going to be run so this particular flight control board, board will take responsible for the stability of the drone in the air so we will see what are the things present on the flight controller board one is microcontroller which will process the data and sensors which will measure the orientation of the flight and also input output ports where we can connect ESCs as output devices and receiver as input device so coming to the types of sensors there are many types so in the flight controller board mostly we are going to use a gyro sensors which will measure the orientation of the flight and accelerometer sensor which will measure the acceleration of the flight and also the compass so by using these three sensors the quadcopter is going to know the orientation and finally it is going to be stable in the air without these three sensors we have to manually adjust the quadcopter in the air coming to one more component that is transmitter and receiver by using the transmitter we are going to send the signals to the quadcopter from the ground station and finally we will control the quadcopter here we are going to use a six channel transmitter to control the quadcopter and propellers by using these propellers motors will generate a thrust downwards and finally they are going to move the entire vehicle into the air and battery for power supply